Yo, what's going on, guys? It's your boy Kimbo here. Get that little spec out of here. Um, but we have an epic Bakugan deck profile video here. So we got number 51. Um, you know, I was in the process of making 50 for a good amount of time. I I won't lie to you guys. Since it took a minute, I was like, you know what? I'm going to make it some more decks. So I've made some more decks after 50, of course. We got 51 here. Now, this one is uh, Aquas, Pyrus, Arless Power. So obviously, it uses Arless Power uh, big time. You know, wanted to play with the Arless Power. Power uh, gimmick because I think it's a really really cool like ability you know Arliss Power also Underdog the two of my favorite ones from the first season so uh, yeah but the Bakugan for this uh, we have Pyrus Phaedrus uh, B Power three hundred damage of five double uh, Flame Fist so yeah I mean it gets five fifty and I mean it can get up to like uh, like nine damage eight damage right away um, then we got Vice Rocks Ultra here. Uh, Arliss Vice Rocks Ultra, B power 400, damage of 4, comes with a shield and also a fist, so it can get up to like 700 uh, right away. And then we've got Aquas Webum Ultra, B power 400, damage of 5. It's been a little bit since I've used Webum, and it's one of my favorite Bakugan from the first season, and I'm like, I gotta use it, you already know. Uh, but yeah, 405 and double shield with it, so yeah. Um, then we got the cores right here for them. And uh, plus 250 for that shield, plus 150, plus 4. That one for Phaedrus, of course. Plus 250, plus 3, had one of these. Um, minus 300, had to put a trap one in there. Minus 3, another trap for uh, opponent, and plus 250. So, yeah, it's about, uh, you know, getting a pretty good amount of B-Power with them while also having a couple traps for your opponent because, you know, minus 300 or even the minus 3, they don't get any more B-Power from that. And, uh, you know, the minus 300 obviously lowers that B-Power, so... Yeah, he's talking about them getting up to, like, max, like, 800, like, max, you know, but still pretty dang good, and, of course, the deck being the main thing uh, to back it, but before that, we got Pyrus Phaedrus here, we got Aquas Webum Ultra, and we have Arliss Vice Rocks Ultra, so, like I said, it's gonna use uh, Arliss Power big time, so it'll make cards more effective, you know, to back up, not having the absolute best, uh, B power with them. So we got Liquid Arts, three cost, plus 400 Arliss Power, two less to play it, so it's one cost and plus 400, so that's already a good example. Hyper Phaedrus, uh, play it, give plus 200, Arliss Power for plus 400, so plus 400. Uh, turn three gets up to 1,000, 1,008, pretty good. Got Emily here, when you open a Bakugan, make a Pirate's Attack for two. Um, then we got Deep Dive, draw a card and reroll, so if you do manage to get Emily out, use the reroll, you know, to get that extra damage in there. Kind of the uh, Pirate Serpent Tease kind of effect with it. Gotta get a little comfortable. There we go. <laughs> but, yeah. Then Deep Dive. Got Song of Fire, plus 5. Always nice. Um, then we got Wave Slash, plus 300. Flow for plus 1,000. Uh, Liquid Darts, got another one right there. Got Tides, plus 200. Flow for plus 400. A lot of low-cost uh, cards with this and the Song of Fires, you know, to have big-time flow effect. Uh, but Greater Water Boost, plus 100. No cost. Another Song of Fire. Aqua Splash, 1,200 for 5. Um, freeze. Uh, stop. Fist. Zero cost. You know, no cost at all. Brain Geyser, draw remaining damage uh, from the attack into your uh, hand from instead of, like, the discard pile. So, yeah, instead of uh, flipping the cards into your discard pile, they go to your hand. So that's a lot. Like, you could use a lot of cards right away if it's later on in uh, the Brawl. Another Hyper Phaedrus, uh, Hyper Vice Rocks Ultra, 705. Play cards from three different factions this turn, plus 300, plus three. And if you win, you could draw three cards too. So big time effect with that. And obviously it's why there's so many low-cost cards with this deck because it makes it really effective. Arliss Power as well as, like, the flow effect. Uh, hot Potato, remove enemy Baku Core, negate its effect. Uh, hidden Treasure, stop Arliss. If you do, you can draw two cards. So since, you know, having a lot of low-cost cards, you're going to need some big-time ammo. And obviously getting that, uh, you know, with the cards like this, you know, having some cards where you can draw. So, yeah, Elemental Storm, Arliss Power, it's two less to play it. You could draw five cards, but, you know, it's six costs for it. But you never know. Um might be really useful. You get a bunch of cards, and you have a lot of ammo to use, especially later on in the Brawl. Uh, Raging Seas, plus five. Arliss Power, uh, two less, you know. Deep Dive, saw that before. Firestorm, plus six. Arliss Power for plus 12. Big-time damage. Uh, tides, 
Another one there. Another Song of Fire. Got three in here. Big time useful. Uh, Strata. All players draw an additional card each turn. Wave Slash. Um, got Dark Waters. Another one. Raging Seas. Titan Web of Ultra. 706. Arless Power. Two less to play it. So it's two costs for it. Um, then Hyper Vice Rocks Ultra. Another one there. Deep Freeze. Shield and Helix. Both stop. Another Hyper Vice Rocks Ultra. Uh, Blinding Ink. Negate an action card. Three energy or less. Uh, Counter Regression. Chaos and Pyrus. Stopped. Another Dark Waters, uh, Solitude, uh, another Titan Web of Ultra, Liquid Strike, Heat, and another Hyperphagus. So, yeah, you know, with this, using actually a lot of uh, three of a copy, you know, because, you know, some people like using like three Evos or such. It depends for me. Like, if it's a big time cost Evo, I'm not going to want to use three of it because that spot would be useful for another card. Um, so I usually use two, but if it's like a low cost Evo where you can get it out, uh, pretty easily. I might use three, you know, had a little bit of a change of heart with that, just making so many decks and such, but yeah. Anyways, as you can see, the big time uh, thing for this is like the flow, and even if you can get like Vice Rox's ability in there, you can use that to get some more B power and also some damage and such, but yeah, you know, overall, it's a really, really fun deck, and I think it'll be really fun to use it, so yeah, I, I just can't wait for like things to just get awesome, and then uh, being able to battle people, because I got so many decks I want to test out, you know, um, <laughs> dude, I've been itching to battle, you know, and just not being able to battle, that's just, I just made so many decks, man, and we're just getting started here, there's definitely more coming, so yeah, anyways, hope you guys enjoyed this epic Bakugan deck profile, number 51, thought this one would be fun, and I really wanted to make one uh, using the Arliss power, and also using Webum, because... I like Webum a lot, and also Phaedrus, but yeah. Anyways, hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, be sure to slice that like button down below. Let me know how I did. If you're new to my channel, definitely be sure to subscribe for some epic, epic content, because I upload daily, and if you haven't already, be sure to ring that bell by my channel name to be notified whenever I upload a video. So yeah, guys, till next time, it's your boy Kimbo signing off. See you guys later. Thanks for watching. Till then, stay awesome, and Bakugan Brawl. I'm about to here.